Hi guys, today I'm talking about capacitance. We're going to look at what a capacitor is, how you can calculate capacitance, and how, ca how you can work out the energy stored inside a capacitor. The phenomenon of capacitance is the ability of a body to hold an electric charge. Capacitance is a measure of the amount of electrical charge stored or separated for a given electrical potential. The most common form of charge storage device is a two-plate capacitor. If you take two chunks of a conductor and you separate them with an insulator, apply a voltage between them, you'll get charges forming on the conductors. Now the capacitance of the capacitor that you've made here, it depends on the geometry and the nature of the material of the insulator between the two conductors as well. Now this equation, where we've got C is equal to Q over V, is how you can calculate the capacitance of a capacitor. So Q is the charge in coulombs uh, that is formed on the plates. Uh, v is the potential difference uh, between the two plates. And C is the capacitance of the capacitor, and that's measured in farads. Now one farad is actually quite large, so normally we deal with like millifarads, microfarads, nanofarads and picofarads. Normally you'll find on the side of a capacitor that a working voltage is also given. If they go over, if the voltage exceeds uh, this working voltage, the insulating layer may break down and the uh, component may short out or capacitors can even explode. Our working voltages have got quite a large range. Some can be as low as 16 volts or as high as 1000 volts. What is the charge held by a 470 microfarad capacitor charged to a potential difference of 8.5 volts? Well, we're going to use our equation Q equals CV. So the charge is going to equal the capacitance times by the voltage. And then we find uh, our final charge is 3.9 times 10 to the 3 coulombs. The energy stored in a capacitor. When we charge up a capacitor, we are doing a job of work on the charge to build up the electric field in the capacitor. So as we increase the charge, the potential difference also increases. And the equation energy is equal to charge times voltage. Well here, the area under the graph here is going to equal the energy stored on our capacitor. So we end up with the formula, well W for energy, or the work that's going to be being done, is equal to a half times Q V. But if we substitute our formula, uh, so if we substitute Q in here uh, for CV, we actually find that the work done on the capacitor is equal to a half times C times V squared. What is the energy held by a 50 farad capacitor charged to 12 volts. Well, from the previous slide, we're going to use this equation here. So the energy, W, is equal to a half times C V squared. Put the values in, uh, and then we find that, in this case, we'd have 3,600 joules of energy being stored on our capacitor. Finally, if you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.